Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be learning more about Perimeter. I was so impressed with the projects that you had turned in yesterday. Um, I loved your videos, those were awesome. You're really showing me that you're starting to understand Perimeter a lot more. Today we're going to practice more with Perimeter. Um, so yesterday I just kept you inside. So I'm, um, today I'm going to take you outside. And so we went out into our yard and I've traced a couple of shapes with sidewalk chalk. And we're going to figure out the perimeter of those shapes. So we'll start with that first. Hey, Roger, can you walk on the perimeter of this square? Okay, boys and girls, so you saw from the video that instead of using a ruler or a tape measure, I just used my feet to measure the perimeter of the square. And so you can see on this picture it says six feet, so that means six of my feet. So when I was walking down the line, I counted how many times I stepped, so it took me six steps with my feet toe to toe, or heel to toe, six feet. So since this is a square, I know that all sides are going to be the same length, so I have six, six, and six. Goodness, we need a different color. Let's try... Six, six, and six. And so to figure out the perimeter of this square using my feet, I would add six plus six plus six plus six equals 24. So the perimeter of this square would be 24 of my feet. And it's very important to make sure you include the unit that you're using. That was something that I miss, was missing in some of the videos turned in yesterday, is you just gave me a number, but I wasn't sure what your unit was. Was it inches, feet, was it chickens, monkeys? What is your unit that you're measuring with? It's a cup. It's hey, a cup. Roger, what shape did we make? Down. What shape is that? Can you walk around it? Walk on the pink line, line Roger. Good, Good job. job. The boys and girls, you can all see that right now Roger's walking on the perimeter of this pink square that we drew on our driveway. Good job, Roger, walking on the outside of the square. Oh, is there a rock in your way? Good job. Okay, so I like how Roger's going to start measuring the perimeter of this shape with his feet. So I'm going to follow him. I don't know if I can... So I'm going to put my foot on the corner of the square and I'm going to see how many feet it takes to go around the square because that would be the perimeter of the square in my feet. Count one, two, three, four. Okay boys and girls, so here is the square that we drew in our driveway. So you can see Max laying right in the middle of the square. And at the end of the video, you saw me measuring the square with my foot. So I was walking along the perimeter counting how many feet it took me. And it took me 12 feet, so I know that this side is 12, this side is 12, this side is 12, and this side is 12 of my feet. I thought I said my feet. You didn't. Yeah, I said you, I walked with my feet. I believe you said it's the way measured in feet. Yeah, in my feet. <laughs> we measured this in my you didn't feet. Say that you said you measured it in feet. <laughs> See how many feet around it was, or <laughs> how many of my feet? That's an important word in that sentence. I thought I said that. No. Oh well. So how many of my feet? <clears throat> so then I would add up all those twelve or all the four sides. So I do twelve plus twelve. Plus 12, <coughs> plus 12 equals 48 of Mrs. Jarvis's feet. Okay. 
So I want you to think if we measured Roger's feet, if we counted how many steps he took around, do you think that would be more or less than my feet? So Roger's feet compared to my feet. What do you think? Hey, all right, boys and girls. So usually when we're at school, when we have a perimeter, we go walk the perimeter of the playground to see what the perimeter of the playground is. But since I'm not at school, going to walk the perimeter of the churchyard behind our house. I'm just going to walk the perimeter of the grass, and then I'll show you the map of what it looks like. Okay? Okay, boys and girls, so I showed you the video of the churchyard, so here it is. You can see we walk down the fence, and then I'm on by the road, and then through the parking lot. And so this was just going around on the grass. See, this is the perimeter of the churchyard. Remember, the perimeter is the outside of a shape and so what I did is I used the app on my phone to measure the perimeter let's see where so then after looking at the app on my phone I could see that the perimeter of walking around the grassy area on the churchyard was 0.48 miles so about a half mile Say P equals one half mile. Benton, Dad might have to make the dogs a giant hamster wheel just to see if they use it. We're not going to sell it on eBay for some ding dong for like a couple hundred bucks. Because that's where the money's at. That's what Dad's always said. Yes. Dumb things for rich pet owners. Yes. Hey boys and girls, so this is what my map looks like, looks like of walking the perimeter of the parking lot. So we started over here, walked down, along the road, back, and around. Okay, so that's the perimeter of the parking lot. And according to my phone, the perimeter of the parking lot, I walked 0.37 miles is about one third of a mile. Hey boys and girls, so this is what the map looks like of me walking all the way around the church, around the sidewalk, and alongside that fence. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead, oh, and this one, the perimeter of this one was 0.32 miles, so just under a third of a mile. Oops, I need a pencil. <coughs> <coughs> So it's about a third. Oops. Hey, all right, boys and girls, here is your assignment for today. I would like you to find the perimeter of something. You can walk around. Um, you could do the perimeter of your house, the inside or the outside. Um, your yard, your car, your sidewalk, couch, table, bedroom. It's your choice. I want you to choose a unit to measure with. You could choose your feet like I did in some of the videos. You could use your hands. You could use forks. You could use a tape measure, a ruler, or an app. Like I used for the a churchyard, you could also use your whole body and see how many times it takes your body to go around your house. That could be kind of fun. Um, I want you to take pictures of what you are measuring. Try a couple different things. Maybe you can measure your living room using your feet, using your hands, and using your body and see which ones gives you the biggest perimeter or the smallest perimeter. Or you could use your little brother or sister. Right now, Mr. Jarvis wants to use Benton to measure the perimeter of our living room. I wonder how many Bentons it will take. He says 30. We'll have to try that out maybe later today, and I'll let you know. Um, so show me your pictures in Book Creator. What did you measure? What was the perimeter? What unit did you use? I want you to have fun and be creative. One more thing I forgot is make sure you draw... A picture around the perimeter of what you measured. So if you take a picture of something outside, on Book Creator, draw over the picture and show me what the perimeter looked like. So like in my example was I used the churchyard. The app on my phone drew a picture of the perimeter for me, which was quite convenient on the map. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, please comment in the math lesson section, and I'll see if I can help you out. I'm excited to see your projects.